سبحانك يا رب سبحانك يا رب that all of his creation be it the earth be it the ocean be it the trees be it the animals be it insan be it the jinn be it the prophets be it the angels be it jibreel be it israfil everything is dead except allah azza wa jal nothing moves nothing stops nothing makes and nothing breaks except by his will subhanak ya rab Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was telling his companions that the comparison of this dunya of this samawatul awwal the comparison of this heaven compared to the next is like a ring in the desert and that the second to the third is like a ring in the desert and that the third to the fourth is like a ring in a desert and that the fifth to the sixth is like a ring in the desert that the sixth to the seventh is like a ring in a desert and that the seventh to the throne of Allah azza wa jalla is like a ring in a desert subhanak ya rab rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam told his companions i see what you don't see and i hear what you don't hear verily the heavens have squeaked They're creaking, overloaded. There is a room for four fingers, except there is an angel in prostration to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Is Allah not perfect? Everything He does is perfect. His creation is perfect. His Nabi is perfect. His Deen is perfect. His Rahma is perfect. And my brothers, His punishment is perfect. On the day of judgment, when all of man from Adam to the last of them will stand in front of Allah Azza wa Jal, and all of the jinn they will stand in front of Allah Azza wa Jal on a day that is fifty thousand years long. The sun will be a mile on top of your heads, and we will be drowning in our own sweat. And Allah Azza wa Jal will call; He will call upon the angels to bring forward hellfire. Picture this: seventy thousand ropes. Each rope has seventy thousand angels. That's four point nine billion angels, and they will drag Nur Jahannam forward, and we will be watching when Nur Jahannam sees the disbelievers and the sinners for the first time. It will burst in anger. Such a sound that the four point nine billion angels will let go of the ropes. Allah Azza wa Jalla says in the Quran that everything. Men, jinn, and angels. When Nur Jahannam will burst, everything will fall to its knees. Allah is perfect in everything He does, and He's perfect in His punishment. Rasulullah sallallahu was sitting with his companions, and they heard a sound. He says to them, "Did you hear that?" I said to him, "Yes, ya Rasulullah." He said to them, "Do you know what it is?" I said to him, "Wallahu Rasulu Alam." He said to him, "This is a rock that was thrown into hellfire seventy years ago, and only now did it reach the bottom. How big? But that's not the scary thing. Allah Azza wa Jalla is promising Nur Jahannam that you will be full. I will fill you up." Halim Talak. He says to it, "Are you full? Is there any more room?" And it says to him, "Halim Mazid, bring it on. Is there any more?" This is what I was designed for. This is what I was created for. Bring them on. Is there any more? The least, the least, the least punishment in hell fire is a man will be made to stand on two burning coals, and his brain will boil. And the mosquito thinks that he's copping the worst punishment. Allah is perfect in everything He does. He is perfect in His creation. He is perfect in His rahma, and He is perfect in His punishment. Ya ayu al-ladina amanu, go afusku mahlikum nara. O you who believe, save yourselves and your families from hell fire. Its fuel will be men and stones. Do not delay. This is the time. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala have mercy upon us all and forgive us all. Shall Allah be?